Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I recently got back from a trip to the United States and Canada. You might have seen on my social media what I've been up to while over there, but this is my first video filming from coming back. So apologies if I'm a bit rusty because, whew, like, it's weird, it's weird setting up my camera to film a video again. I've been so used to just vlogging on the go the last few weeks, so if uh, if I seem a bit weird, sorry. I just need to ease back into this. <laughs> I thought to just literally ease myself into it, um, I would do a couple of haul videos because I bought some stuff while I was on holiday. Um, obviously, when I was in New York, I went to see a few Broadway shows and I went to the Broadway flea market and then obviously just in general, I was buying things while out in America. So this video, it's going to be uh, the Broadway slash theatre haul and I'm gonna split this up. So one's gonna be theatre related, one is going to be just like general stuff that I bought while on holiday. I'm not sure which video is going up first. This might be first, this might be second, I don't know. Uh, but this is going to be the theatre haul and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do it in chronological order. So like in the order that I bought things on the trip. Uh, if, yeah, that made sense, right? <laughs> New York was our first part of the big trip and literally the first night that we got there, it was the 21st of September and I went to see Anastasia at the Broadhurst Theatre. On Broadway, they give out playbills, which are these free little programs, which are so lovely. I think it's a great idea. And there's a whole argument about why the West End doesn't have them. I can't give you an explanation. I'm sorry. It's probably just down to money and us not having people like Playbill that will produce playbills here but yeah this is a little program that the ushers give you and it has like the cast information and um i think it has a little bit about the show uh let me just try and find it if the theater is part of a bigger theater company there'll be like adverts for the other shows and such uh, it gives you a list of the musical numbers, it gives you a list of all the characters, all the cast members, which is great. Um, unfortunately, the one thing I don't love about Playbills is that yes, they give you the, the headshots of the principal cast, but they don't give you the images for the ensemble members, which kind of annoys me. Like, pros and cons, I don't mind having to buy a program in London because at least then you know you're getting like all the images, like there's always cast images, etc. Um, it lists all the understudies as well, which is really helpful. And I did have an understudy on at Anastasia, but I don't think I've got the, the slip to hand, but they put in a little paper slip to tell you who is on and what they're covering. Um, playbills are mostly adverts, but that's fine because that's obviously how they then make them free. <laughs> oh, I tell I lie actually. They do have all the cast images. I had just not flicked that far into the playbill. <laughs> I take it back. Playbills are great. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Anastasia Playbill. This is my clean version. I have many clean versions. Um, I picked up so many Playbills. I'll show you at the end. I've got a big folder. I don't know where it's gone actually. It's somewhere. I'll show you. Um, and then I also, I stage dort at Anastasia. So I have a lovely signed version as well. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, obviously there's gonna be individual vlogs from seeing each show, so you can uh, check that out. Um, but yeah, this is my signed copy of the Playbill. Another thing that I love about Broadway and the West End doesn't really do it as such, is when you go and see a Broadway show, generally at the bars, they'll have these really fun cups and, oh, I'm such a sucker for things like this. Honestly, I'm ridiculous. But Anastasia, they had them. Um, basically the thing, some of the theatres, and I'll touch on more of this later, like some of the theatres, they don't have any other cups but these. Like, so you're paying a bit more for your drink, but then you're also getting a cool like souvenir cup. Uh, some theatres have the option of just a normal, like simple plastic cup, you know. Um, so obviously I, I got cups wherever I could. And this is what the Anastasia cup looks like. I'll do some nice close up so you can see it properly. It's quite simple. It's just got the um, the logo and then on the back it just says telecharge, which is not as cute. Um, oh God, I almost hit myself in the face. That'd be good. Um, I just think they're really sweet. Um, I think this was 
$10, obviously with a drink as well. I mean, I only got a soft drink, so that is quite pricey, I know. But yeah, this is the Anastasia cup. In terms of actual merchandise from the shows that I went to see, I tried to behave. Um, I tried not to buy too much stuff because of money, obviously, and like the weight on the baggage. Um, so from Anastasia, I'm a bit of a magnet fiend. Like I love buying magnets. And so I bought a magnet. <laughs> As I said, I'll do some nice little close-ups of the uh, magnets. Um, I really liked this one. It's simple. It's just the show imagery, but I just thought it was really nice. So I picked that up. I can't remember how much it was. I'll try and put the prices on screen if I can remember to. Um, I think it might have been ten dollars. So it's not like the cheapest thing, but it's a Broadway show. I wasn't expecting things to be cheap. Also at Anastasia, I picked up the souvenir brochure because, as I mentioned, like the playbills you get for free, but then this has all of the like pretty images and such in and it's really nice actually that I, ha I haven't had a full look through of all the stuff I've bought to be honest but this bit I really like because so it's got oh look at Derek oh what babe there he is um but yeah this oh 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 and in the program as well which is quite good they give you a a little cast thingy like this Wow, isn't this the world best produced video you've ever seen? Um, let's put that over there. Um, yeah, on this middle thing, it then, can I do it with just one hand? It opens up. I'm gonna do a better clip of this, I promise. But like, that's cool. And it's like nice big imagery. Wow, this is going so well. Um, yeah, it's huge. So yeah, that's cool. And then as well on the back, it's got a beautiful little image as well. So yeah, um, it's lovely. I think this might have been $20, <laughs> which is quite a lot, but I enjoyed the show. So I thought, why not? I'll buy it. I really, I really liked this show actually. Um, and I really liked all the imagery they had for it. And I mean, isn't that just beautiful? It's stunning. I love it so pretty purple and gold very royal as well um so yeah that is what i bought at anastasia we're just gonna have a pile of stuff building up over here <laughs> okay so the next show that i went to see on broadway it was literally the next day after the friday i went to see a waitress i'd heard so many good things about this show literally people were raving about it and I didn't want to say to people exactly what shows I was seeing before I left because I had this real phobia that stuff was going to be cancelled um, because stuff had already been cancelled. I had tickets to see Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. That got cancelled. I was going to go see Bandstand. That was like closed before I got there. So yeah, I didn't want to like jinx myself further by saying anything. But Waitress, I was so excited for. I've been listening to Betsy Wolf on the uh, the last five years cast recording for like years. So um, to have the opportunity to see her live was so awesome. So yeah, this is the playbill for Waitress. And um, as I'm sure you can guess, I managed to stage door and get a signed version as well which is really really nice um yeah so that was fun and then in terms of purchases from waitress i was ridiculous people told me not to do this and i did it anyway um i bought one of the pies <laughs> this was like 12 dollars uh, this tiny little thing i mean oh god i'm like a beauty blogger and it's not working yeah, it's tiny, tiny little pie. I had the cookies and cream version. It's just a little, I mean, it is cute, but like $12, I am ridiculous. Um, wouldn't say it was worth it, but it was fun. Um, so yeah, I bought that from Waitress. Obviously as well, you get 
a cup. Again, I'll try and do a nice close up because it's not wanting to focus. There we go. Nice little waitress cup. Simple, but I like it. I like the simpleness of it. Simpleness? I don't think that's a word. So I got that, uh, which sadly is a bit scratched up. Whoops. So that was actually only $7, I think, at Waitress in comparison to the 10 at Anastasia. And I had the same drink, so that didn't affect it. And funny story, I actually spoke to the ladies next to me because they asked, they were like, oh, where did you get that cup from? And I was like, just from the bar. And um, they were like, how much was it? And I think I was like, only $7. And they said, oh, because we've just paid $5 for just a bottle of water. Obviously they didn't say bottle of water because they were American. And I was like, oh, well, that makes me feel better. I paid $2 more and I got a fun cup as well. <laughs> I don't know if they actually went to get a drink at the interval to get one, but um, yeah. I felt quite pleased with myself at that point. <laughs> You'll sense quite a trend in this video, um, but I bought a magnet. <laughs> uh, they did have a different magnet. They had one with Jesse Mueller on, uh, and it was like, I'm just gonna show you, it was like what they have on the program. Um, so literally this was pretty much like the magnet, and it looked lovely and I really liked it, but I thought I've not seen Jessie, you know, like I've not seen her in the role. So I thought this one is cute, it's simple. And um, I, I don't know, I just I just felt a bit weird getting a magnet that didn't like had her face on it and I'd not seen her. And like, it's a bit annoying that this is the original cast and like obviously I haven't seen the original cast, but it's fine. Like I think it's fine in the program, um, but I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? I, I just. Don't ask. But yeah, this is actually my first time looking through the Waitress um, souvenir program because I've not looked at it before. Um, oh, I think I think the guy, Dr. Pomata, um, is the same. I think it's just the main the main trio of ladies that have changed since I uh, well from when I saw it to how it was in the original cast. Wow. Can you tell I'm actually still a little bit jet lagged as well? It's a really nice, um, it's a nice program. So that's what I bought from Waitress. I got the program and the magnet and the pie and the cup. <laughs> Alrighty, on Saturday, I went to see Beautiful. And I didn't actually get any merchandise at Beautiful. So I've just, from Beautiful, I've just got clean playbills and my one signed playbill because um, they didn't have special cups, which I was very disappointed about. And as well, the merchandise was pretty much the same as the London merchandise. And obviously I only saw Beautiful in London quite recently. So um, I have realized now since coming back that the magnet that I have from London specifically says London on it and I didn't think to look if they had a magnet that said like New York on it. So I'm a little bit gutted about that um, because if I'd seen that I would have picked it up but I don't know I just I thought as much as I've enjoyed this show like I went to see Beautiful mainly because Cara Lindsay had joined the cast and I knew that she wasn't going to be in the in the program in it or anything like the souvenir brochure so I didn't want to spend $20 on a souvenir brochure when the person I came to see wasn't in it so yeah so I just got my playbills. <laughs> the next super exciting thing that happened while I was in New York was the Broadway flea market Oh my god i have been wanting to go to the flea market for years i missed it the last time i was in new york i was there like the week of but we were leaving the city on the sunday 
so I found out about it too late and I was with my friend who's not like the biggest theatre fan and looking back I'm glad I didn't like drag her to the flea market because she wouldn't have enjoyed it um but I was like right we're there I'm going and it was so exciting so the first thing I bought such a theme to this video but <laughs> I saw this and I was like I need to buy it <laughs> um I bought this magnet <laughs> Oh, literally, I just should have recorded an audio clip saying I bought this magnet. Um, this is a smash magnet and I have no idea actually where it would have come from. Like maybe it came from the uh, the bombshell thing that they did. I just don't know, but it, it's smash and I love smash and smash trash. <laughs> uh, so this was like, this was a dollar and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll take that, thanks. So yeah. I bought a smash magnet. I got some freebies from the flea, which is quite fun. So I got this um, little uh, bottle opener key ring. Let me just put it there so you can see it. Oh yeah, there you go. So that is um, a Joe's pub. Uh, yeah, so it's a bottle opener and key ring and I'm guessing it does something else. What does this bit do? I don't really know what that does. But yeah, that was a freebie. So I was like, cool, I'll take it. Also a freebie was this from the Roundabout Theatre Company. I can't remember where I was given this, but I know someone was just like, here, yeah, lens gloss for free. And obviously like I wear glasses, not right now, but like I wear glasses and I use cameras a lot. So to have a free lens cleaner, it's amazing. And then I literally, I hadn't opened it up actually until I got home literally last night when I was sorting things out and I was like, Oh my God, this is so cool um, because it's, I just thought it's gonna be like a plain black lens cleaner, I don't know, with the fancy packaging. But no, look at that. I hope I'm focusing. Yeah, how cool is that? That's amazing. So obviously it's got that side and then like a wipey side. What a great and like handy freebie. Um, so I'm really chuffed with that, thank you roundabout theatre company um appreciate it <laughs> this is possibly one of the most ridiculous purchases but i'm really happy with it um i saw the kinky boots table and i really wanted to buy something but wasn't sure what they had like some shot glasses and i've kind of got a little collection of shot glasses so i thought that might be fun but then i saw this and i was like oh my god it's too appropriate i have to so i bought a little kinky boots shoehorn <laughs> Uh, this was a dollar and I have no regrets. And then it says on the back, like winner 2013, Tony's. Um, so yeah, I was like, what else am I gonna buy from the Kinky Boots stand? I'm gonna buy a shoehorn for a dollar. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, it just really made me laugh. And then when I told my boyfriend, like I messaged, he asked, he's like, what have you bought? And I was like, well, this, this, a shoehorn. He's like a shoehorn. I was like, yeah, you don't worry. <laughs> I came across the Broadway con stand, which is super fun because I'm going to Broadway con next year. I actually really need to book flights and hotel. Um, and I had seen actually on like Instagram or something, their merchandise table. And I was like, oh gutted. I hope merchandise is, is as good next year. And so when I saw their stand, I was like, oh, amazing. Um, I bought this top. I'm trying to find the best way to show it to you. I bought this top, which is just like a standard t-shirt, um, but I just really loved the design. I thought it was so lovely. Um, this is a weird way to showcase something, isn't it? Like, hey, look at this top. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just thought it was absolutely lovely. And it doesn't like scream that it's a theatre top, you know? Like, so that's what I really like about it. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought from that stand. And I'm super excited for Broadway Con next year. Let me know if you're going in the comments, would love to know. Okay, so um, the next thing, well not the next thing I bought, but I'm saving like the best thing for last. Um, I've always really wanted some of these, uh, what are they called, Lights of Broadway cards. So they had a big stand and it was really good. Um, it was a massive queue, it took ages to get to it, but it's fine. So I picked up just one, two, three, I picked up four. So uh, this one is the special one for the flea market this year. So that was, I'm pretty sure, a limited edition one, which I thought was just so pretty. That was a bit more expensive. I think that was like $10 or something. 
maybe I don't know I can't remember and then what I wanted to do was get a card for each of the shows that I've seen on Broadway but I could only annoyingly find one so far so I'm gonna have to go look online or try and find some trading or whatever um, I found the waitress one which I thought was really nice um, I just really love the design of these I think it's really cool and then as well I just I felt like buying a trio to maybe put those in a frame um, so I picked up the Times Square one because uh, I thought that was really pretty as well and then I picked up another one am I gonna focus and I picked this up for my babe Olivia uh, because I know she really likes if then so I picked that one up for her uh, and I've not actually told her that so um, Olivia I hope you're watching this is for you <laughs> Okay, oh my god. Right, so when I was at the flea market, I tweeted a photo of the uh, Wicked stand and I was like, pray for my bank account. And this was on my first like loop around and I had behaved like for the most part. Um, and then I, I think it was the second time when I went back round that I saw this because I tweeted, someone was like, oh, that stand's gonna be empty by the time you've gone there. And I was like, actually, no, I behaved. I was really good. <sighs> and then I went back and I saw this and it was $40, I think. Um, but it's so special. Like, oh my God, I'm such a fan girl. It's ridiculous. Base, all right, okay. So <laughs> I'm like scared and excited to show you. This is ridiculous. I'm literally talking to a camera. I'm so sad. Right, okay. So um, I saw this and I freaked out because it's literally one of the only things from the show that I have never seen. Um, I've been I've been backstage at Wicked London. I've been to like some cool little events. So I've seen a lot of stuff from the show that like you don't necessarily see up close from the audience or you don't see at all from the audience. And this was one thing that I've never seen, always wondered what was on it. And to finally see it in person and then have to have these signatures on it, I was literally like, take my money, take it now. So, I mean, this is, it wasn't like this when I picked it up, but this is like the natural folds of it. But can you guess what it is? Can you, do you believe it was $40 worth? <laughs> so, um, I obviously saw it when it was like this. Can you guess what it is yet? Can you tell? <laughs> um, this is the note that Fierro sends to Alphaba uh, when he, after No Good Deed, just before For Good, this is the note. This is the note and it's signed by my babe Rachel Tucker and Jonah Platt, who I saw as Fierro in 2015. Cause like I saw Rachel's signature and I was like, is that Rachel Tucker? And then I asked, I like confirmed it with the people there. I was like, this is Rachel Tucker's signature, right? Isn't it? This is, I'm not making this up. They're like, yeah, no, that's Rachel. And I was like, and who's this? Cause like, that's an odd signature. Like I couldn't make out who it was and they conferred and they're like, I'm pretty sure that's Jonah Platt. And I was like, and I was like, how much is it? They're like, uh, $40. And I was like, okay, here's my card. You take my money, thanks. <laughs> um, you can also, I mean, it's a bit, it's gone really bright in this room now, typical. Um, so you can actually see on the back. You can't, it's too bright, hang on. Oh, there we go. You can see the green. Ah, you can actually see the green. Oh, let me make, there we go. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. So that's where like Rachel Tucker is actually, how fangirly am I? But this is where Rachel Tucker is actually like unfolded the, th the note as Elphaba. Best $40 I've ever spent in my life. <laughs> Yeah, I was very happy to find this. And as you can tell, very bloody excited uh, to share it with you. I'll read the note out just in case you couldn't read it. Dearest Alphabet, miraculously I've managed to escape thanks to the spell you've cast on me. 
I've had to pay a great price, but my love is still strong for you. I only hope that you will still want me when we next meet. I have a plan for us and I will come to you and explain it. Tell no one I am still alive. My only hope, our only hope, is for all of us to think I'm dead. Dun dun dun. Also, the light is going crazy right now, so I probably look like Voldemort in that last bit. So yeah, $40. Thanks, Rachel Tucker. As if I've not spent enough money to do with you already. <laughs> Uh, no, totally worth it and I am so excited and <laughs> it was funny when I was like sorting out my like getting my card to pay for it Someone else then like picked it up from the side and I was like, no, I'm buying that <laughs> I was savage. I was like, you're not taking that. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh <laughs> Best crazy fangirl purchase ever Yep. Oh, also one more thing that I bought. It's not for me. Um, it's for Sean. Sorry I'm just gonna put this uh the last note back in a little plastic pouch. As I mentioned in the in the flea market vlog, I was like messaging Sean and Olivia, and I was like, I've seen this, do you want it? I've seen this, do you want that? And like, um, trying to get like anything for them if I could. And one thing that I found that Sean was like, oh my God, I was hoping you'd find this. Let me just get it. It was this beautiful Sunday in the park with George poster which is huge like it's it's a great size um it's yeah oh, it's so beautiful like i wish i had some sort of connection to this show because i so would have bought this for myself it was so cheap as well it was like five dollars they had the uh opening night poster versions as well and they were seven dollars because they had like these names bigger but this was so much prettier so the fact that it was actually cheaper um it was winner winner you know um so that's beautiful and i'm giving that to sean tonight so yeah I, I really hope i'm glad it's traveled pretty well it's just like a little little bits but it's fine it's all good and it's beautiful um it's so gorgeous i want to know who designed this because it's amazing. Oh, and I got this fun bag as well. I mean, it's just a plastic bag, but like, that's cool, isn't it? That's everything that I bought from the flea market itself. But on the day of the flea market, I also stopped by the Gershwin theater because I am just a ridiculous fangirl. Um, and I wanted to get some Wicked merchandise. Even though I wasn't seeing the show on this trip, I didn't really get that much the last time I saw the show. I saw Wicked back in, 2015 on Broadway. So I picked up um, a mug, a wicked mug, and it says New York City on it. It might be quite hard to see, but hang on, let me put you closer. Um, yeah, there we go. It says New York City, and it's got the skyline, which is really fun. Uh, so there's lots of lights and reflections, but yeah, that's super fun. It's a shame that it's flat, like it's not not like raised, but it's a good size mug. Good mug. I also picked up a magnet. Um, so yeah, this is very similar to the mug. It says Wicked, it says New York City, it's got the skyline. Um, but I just really liked that. I picked up a New York City key ring from uh, Wicked the last time I saw it, but I don't know if they had these magnets before. I don't remember seeing them. I probably would have picked up a magnet. So yeah, got a magnet. And then also, if you were watching my Instagram live on that day, I know a few of you were, I was really deliberating whether to get this t-shirt because um, I really liked the design of it and it wasn't like too ridiculous in terms of the design. So I did pick it up eventually and it's this. So obviously it says Wicked, it says New York City and then I just really loved the hat design as well. Like I just really liked that, so I bought it. <laughs> um, I wasn't gonna get the mug originally, but then they had like a bundle deal on and uh, it wasn't cheaper to get all three of them, but like if you wanted the mug as well, you save money. And I was like, you know what? I'll get a mug, it's fine. <laughs> um, and I justify this because I never really spend that much money um, when I see Wicked in London. So like I don't really buy merchandise. So um, I felt like I could allow myself. And apparently there's a really nice version of this at the London production. So I might pick that up as well. Just, you know, have the same ones, just different countries. Um, I am crazy, it's fine. Okay, the last show that I saw in New York and oh my gosh, this video is gonna be so long, I'm terribly sorry. The last show I saw was Come From Away. This show was 
phenomenal. I I didn't know if I would absolutely love it. Like I just knew I really wanted to see it. It sounded fascinating. And holy moly, it was good. So this is obviously my clean playbill. And this is my dirty, no, my signed playbill. Oh, I just love that they're in colour as well. Um, it really, it made me a bit sad that the other shows just had um, the black and white playbills. I won't lie. I understand. It's a money thing. We're going to go really bright because the sun's come out again. But I mean, just, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. And I'm just gutted. Especially like the Anastasia one. I bet that looks gorgeous in colour. And... And the waitress, just all of them. It makes me kind of sad, but it's fine. I'm grateful that Lace got one. That's nice. Um, and I love the color scheme of this. It's so cute. From Come From Away, you can probably guess it, but I bought a magnet because I'm obsessed with magnets. Um, yeah, I really liked this. And I like the fact that it actually says New York um, at the bottom. At the stage door of Come From Away, a cast member pretty much confirmed that they want to bring it over to London, which I'm mildly shocked about. Now that I've seen it, I get it, but like, it's a very American story still. So, well, American Canadian, sorry, no offense to the Canadians. Um, so I, initially I was like, well, I don't know if it would work in London, but at the end of the day, it is a story about like, support and love and community so i guess in a way maybe it will anyway if it does come here and then they have magnets that say london on it i'll be very happy about that I have my little collection of various magnets <laughs> the fridge is gonna be full i tell you <laughs> also at come from away i picked up a souvenir brochure because this is just my theme get a souvenir brochure get a magnet get a cup <laughs> It's my little trio of like to do, get in the theatre, right? Cup, magnet, souvenir brochure, seat, watch a show, done, stage door, good. <laughs> I actually picked this up before the show because it didn't have an intermission um, or an interval as we Brits call it. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'll pick it up now just so then I don't have to worry about it. Um, and yeah, I haven't actually looked through this one yet. So let's have, oh, that cast list scaring me every time. Let's have a little look. I was listening to the Theatre People Codpast. Pa wow, thinking of fish for some reason. Uh, the Theatre People Podcast, because they had a few episodes of Come From Away, the writers and some performers. So I was finally listening to those because I don't like listening to things to do with the show until I've seen the show. Um, and it was so amazing listening to like the story that this show has taken and what the writers did to make this show. And like, oh my God. It's amazing. And like Jen Colella, holy crap. She is just incredible. Um, so this is pretty much the um, the original cast. Uh, well, it is the original cast in this program. Obviously I pretty much saw the original cast apart from, uh, I had an understudy for Helen, her name is. Yeah, Helen. Let me find a big photo of her if I can. Um, um, I'll find a photo, but also Kendra Casabom is no longer in the cast. So, um, the girl who replaced her, I think she only started recently, actually. I think someone told me that. Um, so yeah, she was still fairly new, but she was great. Um, okay, all right. I can't find like a big photo. Hang on. Let me go back because there was one somewhere. Um, there we go. So, um, so this performer, I had her understudy. So, but she was good. I liked her. Um, oh my gosh, class list falling out. So that's what I bought from Come From Away. Um, I love how messy this side of my desk is now. I've got one more group of things to show you. I am ridiculous. Um, we went to Washington DC to stay with my family and, um, we went to the Kennedy Center because they do like free performances there every day, which is really cool. So we were like, let's go watch something there. And then we've had a taste of theater in DC. And my boyfriend and I were obsessed with gift shops. Like it's ridiculous. Every time we saw a good looking gift shop, we're like, oh, gift shop, let's go. And so we went to the Kennedy Center one and it was incredible. Like it was so stagey. I was not expecting that. Obviously they get a lot of touring productions. So that kind of made sense that they had all this amazing stuff in. Um, and I saw these bits and I was like, oh my God, 
<sighs> I am trash. I'm wicked trash. Right, so basically, I wouldn't have bought these if they were at full price, but this top was $40 discounted down to 10. And I've never seen a top in this design from Wicked. And, um, right, okay, so let me show it to you. Uh, it's the Time Dragon, which is really cool. And then I realized, I turned it around and I was like, oh, it's a tour t-shirt from like 2005. But that's fine, because I'll probably wear this one more slouchy around the house, you know? Um, but I was like, $10? Yeah, I'll take that. Um, and I do like the Time Dragon. I don't think the Time Dragon, like, gets to show off enough, you know? So to have that, I thought that was pretty cool, pretty different. Um, and then also I found this, which was meant to be $25, discounted to five. And it's the souvenir brochure from presumably the tours. Um, but this one, they've got a map at the back. Let me show you. I got this map of like productions and I think the latest one on here is 2014 so I'm not sure when this was produced because obviously that tour t-shirt is from like 2000 I think it's from 2005 anyway let me just double check maybe I oh maybe I've just forgotten how to read yeah it definitely says 2005 maybe it was just super old stock and they just wanted to get rid of it um but yeah, so this must have been fairly recent, I guess. Um, and it's, oh yeah, it, yeah, no, it is recent because it's got a car sheet in it. And it's actually um, Jessica Vosk and Amanda Jane Cooper. So that is the most recent tour, if I'm, if I'm correct. I don't know. But yeah, for you Jessica Vosk fangirls, can you see her there? And it's just got lots of lots of nice photos from different productions. And then it's got this cool thing in the middle. I'm gonna do close-ups because this is too uh, too faffy to show. It's got like, oh, they're postcards. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's cool. I might have to try and put these in a frame. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't realize they were postcards. I just thought they were like a fun little book thing. They're really pretty. Well, we know what's going up on the wall. So yeah, I bought that, $5. Can't really complain, to be honest. <laughs> also, didn't obviously pay for these, but I got a ton of flyers um so some of these are going to sean some of these i'm gonna give away on twitter so make sure you follow me on twitter and like go yeah go follow on twitter um to keep up to date with when i'm doing that um and i've got a ton of playbills as well yeah let me just grab that folder i've got a ton of playbills so i think i'm probably gonna do like three giveaways on twitter uh i feel like that i've got enough stuff to probably do that so yeah make sure you're following over on twitter i hope you've enjoyed this video it's probably been quite long and i would say i'm sorry but you've probably enjoyed seeing what i bought so i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future i've got a load of videos coming out from my uh recent travels so new york washington dc chicago and toronto so if you like to hear about theater and traveling at the moment then uh you should subscribe because hopefully my video is going to be really good hopefully <laughs> I would love to know if you've been to New York recently or just the theatre in general and what you've been buying, like what's been your favourite piece of merchandise that you've bought recently because I love hearing about stuff like that. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye!